Captain Todd steered his ship through the rough waves off Somalia, oblivious to the danger lurking nearby. A loud clang echoed through the air as grappling hooks slammed into the hull. Armed pirates, eager for loot, swarmed onto the vessel. Unbeknownst to them, Captain Todd had a secret weapon. But as the pirates charged forward, their swagger faltered. They soon discovered the cargo they desired wasn't what they expected. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. For weeks, a knot of worry had tightened in Captain Todd's gut. His trading route skimmed the fringes of pirate-infested waters. He had weapons, a last resort he desperately hoped to avoid. Now the dreaded moment arrived. Men swarmed closer, their presence a chilling reality. Time was a luxury he didn't have. With a surge of adrenaline, Todd barked orders into the intercom. Crew scurried to the cafeteria, informed of the incoming pirate threat. With a flick of a switch, he killed the ship's engines. It became a bobbing target, a calculated gamble. The pirates, a motley crew lacking polish but seasoned by experience, boarded with practiced ease. Captain Jack, their self-proclaimed leader, hatched a plan. Grab the small, high-value goods that could be easily fenced. Pairs and trios scurried across the deck, their movements confident. Unbeknownst to them, Captain Todd had become a silent observer. A plan, bolder than he first imagined, began to take shape. Two pirates, then three. But first, preparations. A curt message crackled through the radio. Secure the crew in the cafeteria, then join him in the control room. A trap was set, and the unsuspecting pirates were about to walk right in. Unease gnawed at Ahmed and Yusuf as they patrolled the unfamiliar deck of the massive ship. Captain Jack's pairing them felt odd, especially considering their rookie status. The sheer size of the vessel sent shivers down their spines. Meanwhile, in the ship's nerve center, Captain Todd and his seasoned first mate Harris huddled over a blueprint. Their eyes darted, formulating a plan. The ship's intricate layout offered a chance. In the cargo hold, they devised a clever trap, subtly amplifying faint noises to lure the unsuspecting pirates. Ahmed and Yusuf, their AK-47S gripped white-knuckled, followed the amplified clatter. Their rookie nerves turned to disbelief at the sight of a treasure trove rows upon rows of gleaming smartphones, a stark contrast to their own rudimentary weapons. Greed eclipsed caution, visions of unimaginable wealth clouding their judgment. Unseen, Todd and his team watched with pounding hearts through a hidden gap. The allure proved irresistible. Ahmed and Yusuf descended into a frenzy, their pockets overflowing with devices as dreams of riches danced in their heads. Blinded by the promise of fortune, they missed the silent click of a locking door behind them. With a swift gesture, Todd gave the signal. In a flash, the cargo door slammed shut, echoing with the clang of steel bolts. Looks like we got ourselves trapped, Yusef, Ahmed finally muttered, the celebratory glint in his eyes replaced by the bitter sting of their own greed. This initial win was a critical first step. Under the unforgiving glare of the mess hall's fluorescence, Todd gathered his crew. Urgency crackled in his voice as he outlined the next move. With a determined stride, Todd returned to the control room, his mission clear. Silence every communication device within the cargo hold. He wouldn't let a single word leak back to Captain Jack, keeping him blind and further isolating his remaining men. Eyes glued to the surveillance monitors, Todd watched Captain Jack and his crew with the focus of a hunter. Todd reassembled his team, his voice firm yet controlled. Stay hidden, stay safe. This isn't over. With solemn nods, the crew vanished back into their concealed positions, ready for the next phase. In the hushed confines of the control room, Todd reached for the radio. His voice, low and steady, crackled over the line as he contacted the Coast Guard. With the seasoned command of a captain in crisis, his words were concise, painting a vivid picture of the danger aboard his vessel. Over the static, Todd relayed the situation. Two pirates were neutralized, but the larger threat, Captain Jack and his armed crew remained at large on board. Despite calling for backup, Todd knew the game wasn't over. His eyes darted across the monitors, his mind a whirlwind of strategies, poised to react at a moment's notice. 
On the other end of the ship, Captain Jack's brow furrowed in suspicion as he led his remaining men. The missing Ahmed and Yusuf were a stark sign of trouble. Their usual radio chatter was dead silent, and Jack's gut told him something was terribly wrong. Todd's mind raced, formulating a plan to neutralize the threat without endangering his crew. Meanwhile, frustration curdled into aggression in the echoing corridors. Come out or we'll find you, Captain Jack roared, his voice thick with menace. He knew the clock was ticking, eroding his control over the unraveling situation. In a bold move, Captain Todd decided to confront Captain Jack alone. A one-on-one -on -one encounter, he reasoned, might de-escalate the situation and avoid further bloodshed. The crew exchanged worried glances at Todd's plan, their faces etched with concern. Todd, armed with non-lethal tools, aimed to outsmart, not overpower, Captain Jack. An unsettling silence descended on the ship as Todd neared Jack's location. His eyes remained vigilant, scanning for any surprise attack. Captain Jack's gaze narrowed, a war of suspicion and greed raging within him. The promise of plunder was undeniable. They reached the designated spot, an unremarkable corner amidst the maze of cargo containers. With a discreet gesture unseen by the pirates, Todd signaled his hidden crew. Leading the pirates to a strategically chosen crate, he revealed a treasure trove of glittering jewelry. The sight ignited a glint in their eyes. Two pirates, unable to resist the lure, greedily stuffed their bags, their focus entirely diverted from Todd who watched, waiting for his moment. Seizing their distraction, Todd delivered a swift shove, sending Captain Jack tumbling through a hidden hatch in the floorboards, where a waiting crew lay in ambush. The moment Jack disappeared into the trap, Todd's crew sprang into action. Caught off guard, the remaining pirates stood no chance against the well-coordinated team. Each move precise and practiced, the crew worked as a unit, a testament to their training and discipline. In a matter of seconds, they had secured the last pirate, his arms firmly bound behind him. A sliver of hope pierced the horizon. A Coast Guard cutter, its silhouette growing larger with each passing wave, sliced through the water towards their ship. A collective sigh of relief washed over the crew. Relief, and perhaps a touch of pride in their own resourcefulness. As the Coast Guard vessel drew alongside, Todd led them to where the pirates huddled in defeat. One by one, they were handed over, including a bewildered Captain Jack. His face, a mask of surprise and disbelief, was a stark contrast to the arrogance he'd worn earlier. The Coast Guard officers, efficient and professional, launched into a debriefing. They listened with rapt attention as Todd recounted the events, his voice betraying the tension of the past hours. With each nod of appreciation, with every word of praise, the crew felt a weight lift from their shoulders. The officers acknowledged their courage, their quick thinking, the vital role they played in preventing a disaster. It was a validation of their training, their teamwork, and their resilience in the face of danger.